In a major blow to Biden's Green New Deal, a giant offshore wind project that was in the works has been canceled off the coast of New York. Here's one America's chief White House correspondent, Monica Page. Global Energy Directors Equinor and BP announced they are terminating plans to go through with their offshore wind projects slated off the coast of New York. This latest cancellation of their contract deals a major blow to President Biden's Green New Deal plan. And joining me now to discuss is the Director of Membership Development with Project 21, Donna Jackson. Donna, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, you know, starting off, Equinor and BP said the reason for this termination of their Empire Wind 2 project is due to inflation, interest rates, supply supply chain issues, which prevented this major project from moving forward. Should this be a surprise to anyone that these issues are plaguing major developers? It's not. And the, the truth of the matter is most of the projects, these wind projects, are asking for more money because they're not making any money. 90% of their revenues actually come from government subsidies. If a regular business had 90% of their revenue coming from government subsidies, they would actually be out of business. These, they, they're not sustainable. The people don't want them. I mean, and what the uh, Biden administration is doing is putting all this, this money into an industry that, A, doesn't have the capacity to hold up. No, and the Biden administration doesn't want to admit that the ugly truth of it is that these uh, initiatives just don't work for the American people. And they certainly cannot work for a large majority of people because they just don't hold up, like you just mentioned. And this cancellation also comes just weeks after President Biden approved it. And it's also approved its counterparts in, back in November. It also comes after Orsted canceled its Ocean Wind 1 and Wind 2 projects. They're all praised by the Biden administration and hailed as a success story of Biden. Dynamics. So why would companies sign a contract and follow through with these decisions, knowing that these issues under the Biden administration would hinder their developments? Um, to be honest with you, a lot of these people know that they can make a lot of money up front and then get out of it. They know that most of these companies go bankrupt. I mean, if you look at the Obama administration and when they were putting money into Green New Deal, the vast majority of those companies are bankrupt today, uh, some of the largest bankruptcies. And Donna, before we go, there are reports that some of Biden's allies here are jumping ship, turning against some of the key parts of his climate agenda. Uh, between these failed climate initiatives and these car companies saying people are not ready for electric vehicles, green energy was arguably 2023's biggest loser. So based on this track record in the Biden administration and from Biden's policies, do you think that 2024 will be the year that the DEI craziness, climate change hoax will finally start to dissolve? Will Biden and progressives start to wake up finally? Well, the progressive will never admit that they're wrong. But the, the bottom line is car dealers don't want electric vehicles sitting on their lot three times as long as a gas-powered car, which is what's happening now, which is the reason why more than 3,000 car dealerships told Biden to put a stop on this electric vehicles because they were refusing to take any more. Not one individual has ever lived their lifetime without a power, electric power outage. And then the other thing is it's a dumb idea to put all your eggs in one basket. We tell people to diversify when they're doing their financial portfolio. Why on earth will we put all of our energy sources on one source so that that company can control our entire lives. Exactly. Donna Jackson, Director of Membership Development with Project 21, thank you so much for joining us. We always appreciate your insight and having you here. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure.